Hey guys, welcome to another video for the B11X and today we're going to install Elite ROM based on MIUI 13 and Android 12 on the Mi 11X, also known as the Poco F3 and the Redmi K40. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, join us on Telegram. We have more than 1800 members there and you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. my name is Kailash, let's get going. Now, on this particular device, unfortunately, fortunately, I have the ColorOS port, so I don't really have access to a lot of things. So we're going to look at the changelog on the K20 Pro for now. Elite ROMs, Android 12, MIA 13 changelog, based on global China stable beta ROMs, base updated to mentioned ROM name. All requested languages are added, just Elite customizations won't be in other than English. Rest all system-wide settings are in desired languages. Enforcing build, fully deodexed, fully debloated, no useless crap here. Lightweight ROM, then all other system is read write, decrypted ROM, performance maxed out, charging animations of three type like EU ROMs, colored notification icons option added, all notifications app can be removed. Now the changelog keeps going and this will be a 20 minute video if I read the entire changelog. So I'll leave the link in the description. You can probably go ahead and check the changelog. Let's get to the installation part. Now for obvious reasons, in order to install this particular ROM, you need to have an unlocked bootloader. You need to have TWRP installed. I'm going to be using a pen drive because that is the most convenient way I can go ahead and flash ROMs. I would suggest you to do the same, the pen drive, OTG cable or the flash drive doesn't cost you, you know, a lot. So invest in that if you're flashing ROMs regularly, it's a good habit. Now you need to have more than 50% battery. Make sure you've backed up all the information on your device because we'll be wiping everything. Okay. Now at the same time, you need to ensure that you've removed your Google account, face unlock, fingerprint unlock, security pattern, everything and rebooted the device. If you're coming from MIUI, you need to go ahead and remove your MI account and reboot the device as well. Now, once you've taken care of all of those things, you need to ensure that you have the ROM file that is Elite ROM's latest version on your pen drive or phone's internal memory, whatever works for you. Now, once you've taken care of all of that, let's go to TWRP for which we will press and hold volume up and power. All right. Now, as you can see, we've booted into TWRP. So the first thing that we're going to do is wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik data. I don't have anything on the internal storage. If you have your ROM on the internal storage, don't wipe it. So I'm going to wipe internal storage as well. I'll leave the link to the TWRP used in this video in the description. Now go to install, select storage, select the USB OTG, hit OK. All right. Now over here, we are looking for Elite ROM POCO F3 K40 22.1.19 Android 12 zip. This will work for the Mi 11X as well. So select this. Now check this option called automatically reflash TWRP after flashing a ROM. Swipe to confirm flash. Now. As always in my install guides, this is a MIUI ROM that we are talking about. It is about three to four gigabytes. So give your phone time to flash it. It'll take about two to three minutes. So please be patient. And once it is flashed, you will see on the screen. So let's wait for the ROM to be flashed. All right, now, as you can see, the ROM has flashed successfully. Script succeeded. It says over here, no errors. Now these errors that you see at the bottom, you can go ahead and ignore them. That's completely fine. Now go to the main screen, go to wipe, select format data and type in yes. Now, once format data is done, reboot system. If it, if you get this particular error message, ignore it and select swipe to reboot. Now the first boot will take anywhere between two to five minutes. So please be patient while that happens. As you can see, we already have the new MI logo. Now let's wait for the device to boot up. So we have the official boot sound, so we can disconnect the pen drive now and we will wait for the device to boot up, which will take about two to five minutes. So please be patient. All right. This was reasonably quick for a MIUI boot. So kudos to the team Elite. They have done a good job. Now we'll quickly go through the setup part over here. All right. So just like that, we have completed the setup and we are on the home screen. This is what the home screen looks like when you boot into this particular ROM. Now I'll tell you why this particular ROM is really, really significant. We have MIUI VN, which gives you almost similar amount of features, smoothness and everything else. 
But what happens with MIUI VN is if you actually go to display, you will see just like uh, the China beta or China stable, you don't have these refresh rate options. So the elite team has gone ahead and fixed this so that you don't have to manually go ahead and root and you know make those changes and enable all that and stuff like that. Now that is a good thing that it is already fixed. Now let's talk about the ROM. The moment you boot into this particular ROM, you will see that you have standard MIUI stuff going on. To the left, you do have your app vault, which is the updated one. You can give it all the permissions it needs. And over here, you have your new live wallpaper from MIUI 13, your new icons, updated applications. And if you swipe from the top to bottom, you will see that you get the new MIUI 13 control center. So a lot of good things going on for this particular ROM. I am planning to use this as my daily driver when I will be traveling, but let's talk about other things that we have available over here. So let's first talk about the app icon animations. As you can see, they are pretty, pretty smooth. The ROM feels extremely smooth from the word get go. Even if you go to the camera application, you will see that the app icon animations for the camera are very, very good. Now, if you click any pictures, you don't have any issues, you know, clicking pictures, which you would normally have if you flash uh, the China ROM or EU ROM on the Mi 11X Indian version. Now, you do have MIUI dialer over here, which is a good thing. MIUI messaging, which is another good thing. The security application over here looks to be updated. So let's quickly go ahead and find that out. 6.0.2 so yes the security application is definitely updated over here so all the mi apps are looking to be updated as well now if you actually pinch over here you will get an access to all the wallpapers that you have and let's see if they are working fine it's downloading apply set both let's see here wallpaper applied and yes it is applied and it is working absolutely fine so that is another neat thing now once you pinch over here i will tell you this i've used several versions of miui 13 on the mi 11x and this is by far the smoothest experience because the moment you do this just look at the pinch the slightest of touches moves the screen very very smoothly now this is a really really good thing this is what miui 13 should feel like now as you can see you have widgets as an option over here it will take some time when you load it for the first time, but as you can see, the widgets are plenty and they look very, very rich in terms of quality as well. Although it does look that they are highly inspired by iOS. Yeah, iOS, just like this, yeah. Now, you can see, you know, as I said, all the widgets are present. Once they have loaded, they will work fine. There are different sizes and shapes that you have for all the widgets and they are highly inspired by ios apart from this you do have the home settings the launcher settings now home screen you can select it to be with app drawer you can disable the app suggestions disable place new apps on the home screen you can actually go ahead and disable the app vault over here search bar provider oh did the launcher just crash on me just a moment let's see here let's go to settings more app vault settings dashboard recommendations let's go back search bar provider yeah so that's one bug that we've encountered although it is not a big deal but yes it is crashing the launcher when i'm changing the search bar provider you do have double tap to lock screen don't show text the pad ui style now recents can be arranged horizontally show memory status is an option i don't see google feed as an option over here now, even if you, if I go over here, system navigation, system launcher, sometimes it is hidden in some settings. So I don't really see that option. So a little turn off. Uh, Mirza, if you're seeing this, I know you watch my videos. You can definitely include Google feed. That's a very, very useful feature. A lot of people like using it. Now you do have all the updated Xiaomi applications over here, as I mentioned. Now what you do see over here that there is absolutely no bloat. You will see that you have absolutely minimum applications which are essential for you to use your ROM as a daily driver. Now, if you go to settings over here, you go to my device, you will see that it is Elite ROM 22.1.19. That is one of the latest China betas is what we are talking about. You do have all specifications over here. Android version is 12 with the January security patch. It does come with the perf kernel and it does show you 6 plus 2 GB because it does come with RAM extension. Good thing over here is they have updated the maximum frequency to 3.2 gigahertz. So those changes, those small things is something that they have paid attention to. Now you do have something called as Elite Customizations Lite. 
And the reason why it says light is because they do have a paid version for this particular ROM. So you will have the full customization options in the paid version. And I think what the developer has to say is that the paid version does have some better performance. You have different charging animations over here. Charging color settings is something you can customize over here. Number of toggles minimized shade, number of toggles expanded, colored notification icons. That is something I don't use much. Double tap to turn off screen. You can set different shortcuts from the back. Swipe up to turn off screen. That's for the fingerprint scanner. So these features are present. Let's see here. Gestures on desktop. Okay. So if you go here. Well, there you go. So double tap to lock screen is working fine. And the fingerprint scanner as well works absolutely okay. So no problem there. So that's everything about the Elite customization light. Now, remember in the paid version, you do have some additional settings. But if you go to wallpaper and personalization, you do have your standard stuff over here. And remember, this is a version of uh, MIUI 13 beta, which does support uh, dynamic theming on Google Apps. So that is a good thing. You do have always on display with some additional options over here. Moving on, if you go to sound and touch, you will see that you have all the options which are available in the China beta. Fingerprint, face data, all the features are present and they work absolutely fine. Apart from this, if you go to battery, you will have the performance mode toggle which is available. So you can go ahead and enable that. You do have the new beta UI over here. Temperature normal, charge today, optimized charging, automated tasks, schedule power on and off. These are new user interface options. Now under special features, you do have MIUI Lab, which has flashcards, kit space, second space, tap plus, sidebar. You can always enable the sidebar, which is a good thing. You can, you know, pin apps to different games and different video apps and the video toolbox or the game turbo will come into play whenever you launch the relevant application. Now, as this is an install and preview, I don't really have the benchmark numbers. But from the looks of it, apart from a couple of hiccups, this ROM looks very, very promising. I would like to, you know, go ahead and use it as a daily drive and probably make some shots while I'm traveling. All in all, Elite ROM free version is doing a great job with MIA 13. All the features working. You can definitely try this as a daily driver and let me know your review in the comment section. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.